Okay, so this right here is um, my dad's little test kit for uh, testing the quantity of ethanol in uh, gasoline. Um, the uh, instructions for it call it the ethylene glycol extraction method. Um, I'll uh, I'll take a better shot of this right here and edit it into the camera, and then you can see it and actually be able to read it. It's glossy right now. And it's not going to show up nice on the camera. So, in any case, this right here is it. Um, doesn't really consist of a whole lot, just a brush for cleaning the test tube out. It's got this, this tube right here that's um, graduated in milliliters up to uh, 100 and um, with a stopper in the top and then it's got ethylene glycol and um, a syringe that goes to um, 10 milliliters apparently it got wore off a long time ago so dad put a mark around it where the 10 milliliter mark used to be so so that's not a not a whole lot of stuff to it. Three things plus the gasoline to be tested. So um, the way it goes is you take the stopper out and um, fill it up to uh, 100 milliliters with uh, gasoline to start off with and here this is some uh, was it 87 or 89 whichever is the lower of the two it's uh, the low grade of gasoline it should be the 10 percent ethanol Okay, so there's uh, really close to 10 milliliters of uh, gasoline in there. Now, the ethylene gly glycol Okay, there's 10 mil or yeah, 10 milliliters of ethylene glycol. Then you put that in there. Now you have a total of 11 or no, 110 milliliters worth of uh, fluid. So then you shake it up. Get it good mixed up. then you let it stand for uh, five minutes and uh, you see what settles out and um, the ethylene glycol has to have a dye in it of some sort um, I'll see what you guys say what do you what do you think that this right here is? Um, it has a another name that we're uh, we're more more used to than ethylene glycol.
and it's pretty common to most people. Most of us have a jug of it, so maybe you guys can tell me in the comments what it is. Okay, it seems to have settled out pretty good already. I'll uh I'll move the camera where you can uh maybe where it'll show up a little better. But um, you have to subtract the 10 milliliters that you added into it. So um, right now you can see that it settled out. What settled out of the gasoline um, amounts to 20 milliliters. But we added 10 milliliters worth of the ethylene glycol. So um, the other 10 milliliters is... Uh, the ethanol that was in the gasoline. So you got 10 milliliters of uh, ethylene glycol, 10 milliliters of um, ethanol, and then the rest of it is the gasoline. So uh, that is one way you can uh, very easily check to see how much ethanol is in your fuel. I have another thing to show while I have it here. Um, Dad used to have to uh, use this stuff right here to um, stick the underground tanks and um, check to see if there, how much or if there was any um, water in the bottom of the fuel tanks, you know, at the gas stations and so on, because you're ultimately out of condensation and whatever, being underground and so on, you're going to ultimately end up with some moisture in the tanks at those places. and. Um, there's a, a certain amount that's allowed, and then there's an amount that is not allowed. So they have to stick the tanks and check and make sure that it's okay within the reasonable amount. So this stuff right here comes in handy for that. And I'll demonstrate it here in a second. I'm going to get a cup of water and pour a little gasoline in it. Well, no, I guess I don't need to pour the gasoline. I'll get a cup of water. Okay, so um, what you do is you take your measuring stick, and he'd have a wooden stick that was an inch square, and he also had a, a steel tape with a brass bobber on the end for the, the deeper ones. And he would take this paste right here, it's, you can see it's green, and he'd smear that on his stick, and it would it would not turn colors when you put it in the gasoline, but when you put it in the water, it would turn purple, like this right here. And you can see where it turned purple here, and this right here didn't, because I didn't dip it that far down into the water. But if you dip it in gasoline, it won't change color. So, uh, that was pretty interesting. Uh, I found this bottle in his desk. Uh, he retired in, I think, 97 or 98, and this stuff right here, this stuff right here is probably at least 
at least 20 or 30 years old. It still works. Um, I had to stir it up. It settled out, but uh, and separated like kind of like paint does. But uh, in any case, that's uh, that's a demonstration on how uh, the ethylene glycol method works. So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I enjoyed playing with it. This is the first time I've ever really uh, did it. So, Dad's just told me about it. So, alrighty, have a nice day.